Hey there, welcome to the 11th session. In the previous session, we have learned how to use the directive. Till now, we have just obtained the basic detail about the user or a specific repository. But we have not obtained the repository for the given user. In this session, we will do it. In this session, we will learn about the uh, how to use the uh, paging in the uh, GraphQL. Here is a basic query that we have created in the uh, previous session for obtaining the uh, basic detail for the login name that we are passing in the uh, variable. Now I am going to add the repository field within this query. There can be multiple repositories may exist for the given user. Even I know the user having the thousand of repositories. So here we must need to use the paging. In GraphQL, everything depends on the client. This means client will decide after which record data will be obtained and how much record needed. Here you can see that repository will take the several argument. From those argument, after before first last are related to the paging. Let me obtain the first three repo. Within this, we will get the uh, total count, page info, and edge. Page info contain the uh, flags for whether the next or previous record exists or not. And the value of the uh, start and end cursor. GraphQL paging use the uh, concept of the uh, cursor. The cursor represents the unique string value of the record. Usually, it generates on the uh, ID. Start cursor specify the cursor value for the first node in the result and end cursor specify the value for the last node. Age field contain the cursor and the node. Cursor represent the unique value for that record and node contain the all the fields for a record. Let obtain the name and the URL. Execute the query. Here we got the result. I have 15 repository. We have obtained the first three nodes. So obviously we do not have the previous page. But from 15 node, we just obtained the three. So we can go for the next page. Within this age, the cursor represents the unique value for this node. And we have obtained the name and URL. Here you can see that the start cursor value match with the first node's cursor value. End cursor match the last node's cursor value. Here we have obtained the first three record. But what if you want to obtain the next three record? For this cursor come in the picture. We need to use it. Copy the value of end cursor and pass it in the after argument, which inform that we need to obtain the three node after this cursor value. Click on the execute. Here we got the next page data and got the true value for the has a previous page. I have already opened the repository page on the GitHub. We got this three node in the first page and obtain these three in the next page with the help of after argument. Like first, we can also use the last argument. It will return the last three node. Click on the execute. Here you can see that we got the uh, those three report detail. To obtain the previous page, we need to use the before argument. Like this. Here we learn how pagination work in the GraphQL queries. GitHub API also provides the some additional argument for the repository. We can also specify the sorting field and the direction for the result. For this, we need to use the order by argument. Within that, specify the field name. Let's sort by the name in the descending order. Execute the query. Here we got the result in the descending order. Let's see what we have learned in this session. We learn to use the paging in the GraphQL queries. 
In GraphQL, paging are based on the uh, cursor. For this, we can use the uh, first, last, after, and before. For sorting, we need to use the uh, order by argument and specify the uh, direction and the uh, free name. If you have any doubt, feel free to contact me. Have a nice day.